In a cascade of noise, a landscape is reborn. The setting of Vigor's shipyard on Seattle's Harbor Island is far from untouched wilderness. Here, they work on everything from Navy vessels to the Washington State Ferries fleet. But this effort is not about constructions of steel. This is about softening a section of riverbank for some of its oldest residents, migrating salmon. So we're dredging here to generate the clean fill that they we're going to place up here to build up the shallow water habitat. It'll be about two and a half acres in size when it's done. Alan Sprott is VP of Environmental Services at Vigor and says when the company bought the site in 2011, it inherited a legacy of contamination issues dating back to World War I, remnants of times when the environment was not always prioritized in the quest for progress. But much like in nearby Longfellow Creek, salmon still return to the Duwamish River every year to spawn, and their young face new hurdles returning to the sea, like destroyed salt marshes that provide a gradual transition from fresh water to the salty ocean and food to grow. Vigor agreed to improve that journey as a condition of a consent decree with federal and state governments and tribes to settle historic environmental damage to the Lower Duwamish. And so our, our solution to that problem was to take a really an underutilized portion of the shipyard and create this shallow water habitat that is at the mouth of the Duwamish River. To that end, they removed an old wooden buildway for ship construction, and with it, more than 5,000 pilings coated with toxic creosote. They took out two other piers and have removed silt laden with PCBs and heavy metals. With that contamination gone, the clean material they take from the bottom now will be used to build up the shallow fish habitat. They've partnered with salmon nonprofit Long Live the Kings and University of Washington researchers for the project. Salmon are incredibly resilient. They will figure out a way to try to make a go of it. And so what we're trying to do, again, is give them um, give them a little bit of a boost. Emily McCartan of Long Live the Kings describes this as a rest stop, a relatively sheltered section of healthy, functioning estuary that will let young salmon gather themselves on the way out to sea. Shallow water will support vegetation, which attracts insects for salmon to feed on. So as they're migrating out of the river and starting to hit this salt water for the first time, they have a place where they can find food sources, they can gather energy, um, and hopefully we'll see that eventually translate into um, you know, better survival. Before work began, researchers sampled water and the diet of salmon passing through here and across the river at Jack Block Park. They will continue to monitor after completion to gauge success and hope this can be the first step in a chain of industrial projects to assist fish. When you imagine healthy habitat for salmon, you would imagine a really pristine flowing river with trees on either side um, and you know really clean, clear water. They need all of those things. What we also know is that Seattle's not going anywhere and we need to be able to figure out ways that the systems that work for humans are also working for the environment and for the fish and wildlife to, that also depend on them. We're all interconnected. Certainly, salmon need all the help they can get. Chinook spawning in the rivers of Puget Sound are listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act, and runs have been declining for decades. You know, as the expression goes, you know, the victim died of a thousand small cuts. You look at Puget Sound as a whole, we've hardened the shoreline, we've reduced the grass beds, and so forth. No, we're not going to put Harbor Island back into mud flats anytime soon, but the small benefits that we can achieve will pay off. Back at Vigor, in-water work is slated to wrap up in February, and they'll also improve stormwater controls to reduce runoff. Then, researchers will return over time to study how the fish are doing. Hopefully, there will be more of them to follow. For me personally, it's a really rewarding project to, to have been involved with it from start to finish. And like I said, it's something that's gonna be on the landscape forever. Um, long past uh, anybody that's involved in it uh, is on the planet, that will still be here. Fish returning to a more natural setting in the heart of a forest of steel. It'll be exciting, that's what we're looking forward to. More like what they knew for the many years before humans changed this place. Hope is not lost. Um, when we have the opportunity to say, there are salmon here, we know that if we give them a chance, they will figure out how to survive. We owe it to them and to ourselves to give them that chance.
watch City Stream Tuesday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel or find us anytime online at seattlechannel.org.